hello, hello. What up, girl? This is your girl, Lemme, here. Back with another reading. This will be for Mars Capricorn Transit 2022 for the 11th house or Pisces Rising. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate it. Um, if you're new, welcome. Please be sure to leave a comment below um, expressing how this resonated for you. This message is backed by Luminescence. Okay, so let's get into Mars Cap. The last time it was here was spring of 2020. Um, winter, spring 2020, when the Great Reset took place. Okay, when the world stopped and pretty much ended, um, the end started, <laughs> I would rather say. So, the fact that it's coming back through here again means that everything that was torn down and broken up in your life is able to be rebuilt right now. Okay, so uh, Mars, Divine Masculine Energy, Drive, Instinct, Passion, Capricorn, Divine Feminine Earth, Ambition, and Authority, Fame. Um, career as well um, how you use your power and this is exhausted because you can motivate yourself to use your power to your advantage or disadvantage in 11th house passionate friendships network um, making sure either you're not arguing with your friends or you become a meteor so people don't argue <laughs> in your friendship circle or work um, workmates too um, dating friends or meeting people meeting new people through your friends as well um, I did think about high priestess energy um, spiritual power being activated um, with your 11th house um, seeing who you are spiritually connected to rather I see it like that seeing who you are either spiritually connected to okay so let's get into it the Animal spirit guide deck. Y'all make me want to sing every single time. And I just saw two, two, two on the clock, too. Okay. And we got elk. Okay. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. And others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. So, again, like I was saying with the arguments, um, Stand for something, okay? And be respectful as you stand, while you stand for your something, okay? Um, I do see this as you, um, you may be the only one that feels some way about something, so you take a stand on it and everybody else may not see it or agree with it, but it's okay. You don't need everyone to see or agree. Um, it may be a very personal that you are standing or you putting your hooves into the ground about like you're taking a strong stance on something and everybody else may not see it but you know do your thing don't be all delusional okay don't be delusional if you know somebody is um if you know somebody is out to get you or they're just trying to poke fun or whatever speak up and let them know hey like I just told the uh, Aries, like you can if it ain't directed, I don't respect it. Okay. Three. So if you want to say something directly to me, you can. You can definitely do that. But respect me. Okay. All right. And if I tell you the truth and you don't like it, that's too bad. Okay. Because at least I was respectful enough to tell you the truth and I ain't lied to you. Okay. So we got the Bruce. The gross. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing okay so i can see this is um you want to do something fun or go out and have fun with your friends or whatever but um you have some boundaries in place that kind of keep people at a certain distance from you to allow you to express yourself to a, a full extent so those are the only people you want to be around anyway if you're around somebody and they're not allowing you to express yourself the way you truly are then that's a flag on the play okay and we got the road runner. Keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously. Yeah, I can definitely see that too. And the manatee, keep, accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. Okay, so yeah, you may have to 
the um start being more aware of people who really got your back and who back you really have okay because when mars goes into aquarius it's gonna be like hidden enemies popping up all okay? right so right now you can start seeing a red flag so you can start <laughs> next month okay so yeah stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what others will treat you with the respect that you deserve express yourself okay and keep your sense of humor take things light okay this is the air house this is definitely um uranus is the lord of this house of Aquarius. so you definitely take things lightly and be friendly as you can um but don't forget your boundaries too don't let people get too comfortable with being so light and like <laughs> okay okay we can laugh and we can giggle, but don't don't disrespect me and don't try to slyly disrespect me like i'm gonna see it either. okay and that may be what's going on around you i don't want people especially people you may be at work with they may make little side eye or side comments but it is what it is again if it ain't directed i can't respect it um accept people in situations as they are you don't have to do anything or change anybody okay you already know how to go with the flow so go with the flow okay sit back and be cute you know priestess energy stand tall maintain your dignity no matter what don't fold don't give in yeah hey man this is your energy too just chill just hang tight hang back a little bit um you may need to distance yourself from certain um people you got the uh, knights of drums or the knave of drums because somebody's coming somebody's working to come to you the magician gemini energy <laughs> Yeah, um, a magician is also, um, knowing that you have everything you need, and this may be you accepting the fact that, you know, you're fine as you are, so stand in your power, stand in your power, be motivated to stay, your friends may be motivating you to stay in your power when it comes to a relationship with someone else that you may work with they may be um, supportive of your stance and being more respectful of your time and your energy when it comes to sharing your space with people that you work with okay but somebody is on their way and i think it's this magician this person right here like you just chilling and they just keep coming to you um express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing you got the seven of stones this person is kind of freaked out and you got the three of drums. And this was express yourself. And he's he got a drum and he's drumming. This person might want to take you out. And wasn't expecting it. Are you gonna say yeah? Okay. And there are air and earth here. I feel like somebody wants to express themselves to you or you may want you may be the person you want you you may want someone to come to you you may want to attract a certain type of person or situation into your life and it starts with accepting the situation as it is first not trying to manipulate it into what you want it to be but accept it as it is first and you accept it and you break it for it so much that you you can't wait or you're gonna be so excited when something else comes in to add to it not take you or take it away from you okay and maybe you're looking for someone who got the to total package maybe you're looking for your friend or your friend is coming to introduce you to someone who is the total package of what you were looking for you never know but it comes when you accept yourself as you are and you don't the need to change or do any of that unnecessary as bullshit um but you accept your situation with your co-workers or just your friends your network or just you know being you as you are you accept it, who you are and where you're at in life and all the good 
things that you've acquired so far in your life especially when it comes to wisdom and people you can trust and the more that you accept them as they are and they accept you as you are more comes more people will come a whole community of people will come and you understand that you have way more than you could have asked for and being grateful for that um you'll be very surprised to see the people who actually have your back in a situation where you are being affirmed instead of being torn down okay again look out okay you may have people already looking out for you but you know look out for yourself too okay but i definitely see this as like you standing in your worth and in your power and it's attracting someone to you that is going to be the complete package or the complete thing that you want more complete whatever it is however you want it to be it's coming and it's going to come unexpectedly it may come when you're at work or with your friends or it may come through another person it may be a fire sign um but yeah definitely so keep your sense like it takes and keep take things with a grain of salt okay keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously that's serious as fuck um capricorn energy <laughs> the nurturer so you you know what i just i'm almost at the end of this reading figure it out you're gonna figure it out maybe y'all didn't want to hear what i have to say okay maybe you don't believe that you, somebody is coming your way okay they're gonna be the total package they're gonna have everything you need everything you need okay because they understand you have everything you need you feel like you got everything you need you don't need nobody else you accept the situation as that and then you get to move forward into that energy even more and then that person or situation or circumstances they move that way towards you it may be a long time coming or may have feel felt like it was a long time coming but you know the night of drums or like the night of pentacles does take its time it has everything it's prepared but it still is very uh sure before taking a step forward and then it starts to move okay so um I feel like um, I feel like this is like you meeting someone, and or you could already know them. They could just be friends with you, but this is about being a new relationship is starting, and it may take you by surprise that how well things kind of like move or gel together. Um, and it's it's something I feel like it's something new. It's a new relationship. So keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously with the queen of drums. Um, but you're waiting for someone to come in. But the person you, you're, you're actually waiting for is yourself at the bottom to accept the situation as it is rather than trying to fight to change it. So you don't want to try fight to change your status with people. Just stand on who you are and what you know to be true to yourself and allow those situations to be attracted to you and manifest in your life for you and i feel like you're going to be kind of shocked by who chooses to um work with you or merge with you and there's an affirmation with a someone to say yeah so if they ask you to go out they ask you to go out or have fun it could be a sagittarius um, but they may ask you to go out and have fun. And it's like, you can do that. Just go have fun. Um, it doesn't mean y'all have to get married tomorrow. If you do, congratulations. But, I mean, keep it light. Keep it friendly. Um, you can take care of yourself. You don't really need them anyway. It may be someone who is a loner. Um, it could be on the Virgo Libra cusp as well. Um, but it could be someone who's very wise. And they take their time with doing stuff. And they may be an air sign as well with both these pairs both of this air is here and it's in the air house so this could definitely be you taking on this air energy where you you're sure with your mind and heart what direction you want to go in you make space for it to come to you and then you guys move forward as friends and it has the potential to turn into something um a bit more uh deeper scorpio energy at the bottom um it could be a scorpio be careful <laughs> i don't mean that but i do 
uh, but this is transformation death so this could be a relationship that changes your life forever it definitely could change your life forever um for the good of course but this is a situation or relationship where things kind of start out as friends and then they kind of get more serious along the way um just trust your instincts um follow your intuition rather about the relationship but um keep things as light as possible they don't have to get too deep too soon um but this person is going to be around for a long time um and they're definitely single they're not with anybody on the wrong card but yeah it's like they may surprise you with something or you may be surprised that this person was it the whole time and they've been right under your nose and it changes everything they were the support that you always wanted that you never had or they were always there to be supportive but now you see them in a certain light that you haven't before and it kind of transforms how you feel about them so then you try to take a, a step back you know so you can be like does this make sense you know with the hermit here like talking to your guys asking the divine to is it right is it the right situation it is it is you may spend a lot of time apart but when you get together it feels good and it feels right so just accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change your meaning um don't force anything to be what you want it to be let it be whatever it is you got birds i want another card because i got this for somebody else but yeah there's the more that you allow the situation to be what it is and know that you have everything that you need for any relationship to work or any business adventure to work the more you keep getting you know synchronicity showing you like hey you want to do this here you go you know you want to take this um step in this direction well here's the first step you want to make a million dollars well here's a job you know you want to be in love well here's the person you know you want to travel where well, here's the person who want to travel too like that's the energy i'm receiving like the universe is matching you on whatever it is that you want all you gotta do is say yeah and and um and don't cling to it let it flow you got table i already got this card i just got this card for the last one too and that one i didn't get this one this is new okay we looking for new people okay we looking at new things okay we're not going back to the past we're moving forward we're moving forward okay this is something that's new and you can't not see it like you can't ignore it either you're not gonna be able to ignore it it's gonna be like oh obvious in your face Universe is not playing with you, okay? 31. Illumination, Ace of Diamonds. I feel like that's what this person does. They show you something about yourself that you didn't recognize or see before, and it allows you to continue to accept the situation as it is, and therefore it continues to grow the way that it should, and that's what makes the relationship better. The sun lights our way forward, drawing us closer to completion. It illuminates work that needs extra attention if we are to succeed and highlights solutions we might might have overlooked. Yeah, that's why I see this. If you've been lacking direction and drive, you will soon feel a surge of energy and inspiration. The sun is charity and warmth. Keep up the hard work. Keep planting seeds. Sun will help you nourish them to full bloom. Yeah, so keep taking your time with this relationship accept things as they are you don't have to rush the other person doesn't look like they're gonna be rushing at all um they're gonna allow you enough time and space to for you guys to get to know each other and keep things light having a sense of humor have fun have fun okay all right and that's your message Trying to find the significance of what you mean. Breaking through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never ending sea. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker. 
for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just want to hide me. Deflowered and free. Initiations with time reminding.